Scotty Sire. So we went in on Scotty Sire a little bit for his apology uh, song promotion last week. I think I went in pretty hard on him. Uh, Oh, this was kind of a good tweet. This was in response to Scotty, right? (laughs) Yeah. mm -hmm. You said, "What? what is it that he said before I read yours? Oh, oh, he said okay. he was shadow banned. Right, so def- definitely. Oh, wait, here it yeah, is. Okay, I've got it. I've got it. Yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so he was apparently on Discord. What is a Discord? It's like a private chat room for Where? Fans. How do you get on We have it? a chat. We have a Discord for our members. Where do I go on that? It's, I find you'll it? never figure it out. Okay. Yeah. I'll just, <laughs> I'll, just I'll just save you the effort. <laughs> okay. It sounds complicated. You'll, you'll never figure it out. Everyone's on Discords. But okay. All right. So he says, 60K views on my new video and no comments. <laughs> Do y'all want me to fail? React to this if you think YouTube shadow banned me. So he's like begging his diehard fans to slam slam emojis on it. Yeah, cringe for sure. I was like, oh. Why? What is this? The most emoji one is the laughing tongue out, which is like, I don't know if that's such a supportive emoji. Yeah, everyone's like, eh. They're like, eh, eh, fuck you. (laughs) Like, I just don't think that's a supportive emoji. I did that emoji on him. I went, eh. You did that one? Yeah. So you quote tweeted and said, or maybe it's him telling victims of SA, which is probably at least 75% of his audience, victims of SA? I'm sure about 75%. They oh, say like stat? every girl has so, had oh, it and you, probably one in every set, two guys have had SA. You're every saying girl the has majority of his fans are female? No, no, no. Or I'm saying women? every single woman has probably experienced SA or knows someone they haven't seen. And mm-hmm. with men, it's like one in two, they say. So I was okay, saying so, like, I'm like giving an average. I got it. Okay. Got it. Got it. So you're telling them how to feel and how they're supposed to react. So anyway, this is when, when you came with a real slam dunk. You're like, yo, Scotty, sorry about to sit down and take this L. <laughs> you said, I don't know who needs to hear this, but you're not shadow banned, just irrelevant. <laughs> I mean, I've yeah. been irrelevant at least 15 times in the past couple of years. So I know don't be an asshole. It, then it'll get better. Yeah. I mean, I think, I think I hate my, my biggest pet peeve is when people are like, hey guys, YouTube is pressing my videos, shout out. It's like literally like, no, <sighs> literally people, if people want to see your videos, they'll go like to your channel and look for them. You know what I mean? The like, truth, the hard truth, you know, the hard truth to take is, I think there are some exceptions where, where individual videos will get suppressed for like getting a mature rating or something. Yeah. Like you say, when you do the Adam and yeah, Eve ones, because it gets like mature rate and yeah. stuff. But the hard truth to swallow is that most of the time when that happens, <laughs> it's because people are not clicking your videos. Yeah. Like and literally. so YouTube doesn't show it to people. Yeah. I don't know why he's shocked. I mean, he's been a complete asshole this year and tone deaf for sure. But also like your whole videos were just starring David and now David's not in them. So of course nobody cares about you anymore. Like it's not that hard to figure out. One plus one equals three. Or two or four, whatever the fuck that saying is. One plus one equals... Is the saying is that one? it's wrong? No, go ahead. Keep one plus one equals three means it's wrong, though. One plus one equals three? That's the saying. I don't think say. that's a saying. Just say is like, that a saying? Yeah, when you're trying to prove somebody wrong, you're like, okay, that's like saying one plus one equals three. Okay. <laughs> anyways. So anyways, it doesn't surprise me. But yeah, but it's, this a, is, it's it, been other people, too, that are like, guys, I'm being shot up No, I hear that all the time. You hear that literally. Nobody cares all about All the time. It's YouTube fine. showing my video to my fans. It's like, well... <laughs> So Probably not insane. clicking it. And, and then when you say it, you sound even more pathetic. I'm like, okay, well, even if you are, like, they're not searching for you then. The pro- people are the not seeing your videos. They don't give a fuck. Like, I'll I search s- for people. I always search for people if I don't see their videos. It's a hard pill to swallow because you want to blame, you want to scapegoat YouTube and not blame yourself. <laughs> but tr- but truthfully, you know, you got to fight to to stay, to keep your vids fresh and keep get people clicking. People are clicking YouTube and is going to show it to people. It's the same with all social media. Instagram. Called Twi- algorithm. Yeah. It is. His, it, the problem is his, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the problem is his algorithms are getting crushed. He also hasn't posted in like two months and he's like, why well, doesn't no one look at my video? It's like, Bleh. and also you literally victim blamed like everybody that's ever been assaulted. So, okay, but what happened? He texted you over an apology, you said. Well, I think at, it was, I think it wasn't even that. Oh, well, I think it was after that because we had put the show out and a lot of people thought I was a little harsh on Scott. I don't think I was harsh, actually. I don't take it back. I don't take anything back. I said, I don't think I was harsh at all. But some people in the comments, even of our podcast, were like, okay, oh, I think she went a little harsh on Scott, and then I put out that tweet, and I and like right away, not right away, the next day, he the day we went, he texted you're gonna me. read his text. Should I not? I'll paraphrase. I mean, it was nice, right? So it, it was a it, long, it, it will make text. him look good, right? So I think read a little bit of okay, let's just weigh the pros and cons. I'll, I'll do a little, I'll just do a little paraphrase, paraphrase. Yeah. yeah, okay. So I think like 
First thing is like apologies do go like such a long way, right? When David Dobrik said in his apology video that he was going to personally apologize to people that he's hurt or offended. Didn't call you and didn't call me. That e- <laughs> that was even or more of like death that I'm aware of. Yeah, I was like, uh, that even was more offensive. So right, you know, like to even save face, even if Scott's doing this to save face because he knows I'm going to talk about it because I have a loud mouth, you know, and be like, okay, it's going to make me look like a good person. Even that I, I, I'll take because I think still it's still like, point. Yeah, I still want a little bit of like an apology, and it feels like it feels good. Also, but also. Scott apologized to me was weird because I didn't need an apology from him. So I don't really know why he was apologizing because he was. Well, I think he felt bad. I think he felt I bad. He triggered me I with think the- he just all around feels bad with how he his everything. He got so slam dunked by defending and atta- defending David slash attacking Seth. Yeah, hopefully he apologized to Seth. I mean, hopefully he reached out to him because honestly, I was triggered. I guess he was apologizing for triggering me or something. I don't know. Honestly, it was sincere. I like I've what do always- you say? He said, he goes, should I just read it or no? Okay. Can we get a room <laughs> temp? I don't know. How that Is it okay to read? To okay. I'll paraphrase. Okay. Okay. Don't I read it. Like don't read it verbatim. I, I don't think he would mind because it's like. He's nice. He looks good. Yeah. But maybe so, it's better to par- just yeah. paraphrase. So I'll paraphrase. Um, okay, so he did say he wanted to apologize for triggering. I was trying to figure out what he was trying to apologize for. <laughs> yeah, like, why you know? are you messing with me? <laughs> well, because I was so angry. And you know what about me is, is I get really heated and angry. And then I can, if someone, that's what I'm saying. If someone apologizes, even if it's insincere, it means so much. Like, all I wanted was for Jason and David to acknowledge that, like, what they did with the Tana thing was like, by the way, did you see Tana comment on my TikTok? I made a TikTok saying, like, oh, the time David tried to force me and, like, my 45 year old boyfriend to have a threesome with 19. Mm-hmm. And then she commented on that and she goes, tag yourself. She goes, I'm the 19 year old who's in therapy because of this. Did you see that? So she obviously right. had some, you know, trauma from that too. So right. anyways, and that's all I ever wanted from them. All I ever wanted was like an acknowledgement. Like, hey, instead they said that I was the problem and they tried to make me apologize to Brandon, the guy that was dating a minor. They just tried to make me the Anyways, so apology is all I've ever wanted from them. I didn't really need one from Scott, but I appreciate it. Nonetheless, same thing with Jeff when he apologized. Again, the sincerity of it, I think it's pretty sincere, but, you know, maybe some people say they're just doing this to save face. Either way, I think it's a... You know, because he knows I'm going to say this and then Daddy Dave is going to hear this. And so Daddy Dave is going to know Scott's talking to me and gonna be like, what the fuck? Why are you talking to church? So I thought it was a big move, you know, mm. because he probably could get in trouble for talking to me because I'm freaking. I, don't I know, think what. that. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's very cult like where they're like, how could you talk to Trish? Right. Or apologize right. to her. You're admitting to guilt or whatever the fuck. Right. Um, but he said, I apologize for triggering you. Um, he goes, I'm ashamed I made the video. Uh, it was wrong of him. He's like admitting that he's wrong to question Seth's motive. He said he was coming from a biased perspective. Um, and he says it took some videos and commentary from you and others to realize the magnitude of my fuck up, which I think is a big thing too because when mm-hmm. people have called me out, I don't realize it. Sometimes you don't realize like what you're doing. And I believe that was Scott. I really do think he was just trying to give David points. Me too. He was an investor in the app, so he's trying to save face for him. It was so I think it was stupid. just his friend. He's like, yo, I love my friend. No, he only ever gets disappointed in people. It's like he right. was just so fucking and I also out think, of touch. I don't know. I could just tell from that video maybe he's never been a victim of SA because the way he was just talking was so insensitive. I hope he feels manipulated by David though, because let's not forget that in Scotty's video, David sent him receipts. Yeah, to use I think that's Seth. it. David's like, look, I'll show you. And then Scott's like, okay, I'm going to try. He's fired up. He's like, oh, this is a slam dunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, so he said he's taking time to reflect. Um, and then he said he wasn't trying to blame his mental health because my other issue is mm, people right. blaming like mental health and stuff and saying they're depressed or whatever. And then did he send you an audio file of his song, the full version? No, but he did have a clarification about a song lyric. That okay, you were good. About. Oh, good, 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 good. <laughs> so after all this, he said, um, uh, you know, he was, it was really nice. And then he goes, uh, I know, blah, blah, blah. He goes, I know sometimes I can still be an asshole. But this is what he wanted to clarify to you. He said, Ethan asked. Oh, this for me? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. He said, also, so he did this whole thing. He said he was an asshole. But, you know, I do accept Scott's apology. I was just triggered a little. I still thought it was very insensitive. But hey, if someone apologizes, like, you should try and forgive them and give them another chance. I think this was. What did he say about me? So you were confused by the line from his song that says, I live a good life and pretend that it blows. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, he's pretending. Yeah, got it. No, you didn't know. You were like, wait, so he's pretending that his life blows? Well, he goes, I live a good life and pretend it blows. I was like, it sounds like someone who's just like trying to be act depressed for clout. Right, right, right. That he's like faking it. And he didn't, he said, he goes, that was the second song I wrote. And then he goes, it was one, it was satire. And then he goes, it was poor, poor lyricism. He goes, but you hit the nail on the head with what I meant. So what I said he meant mm. was that so people he, think he has a really cushioned life, but you know, even though he has a cushioned life, he still can be depressed. Okay, so what his message to me is that it was poor lyricism. Poor lyricism. Okay, thank and you. And that Scott. I was right about his. Did he side apologize break. to me for his poor lyricism? He did apologize mm. for it. Um, he he goes, owes us all an apology for that. He says, "I know you don't like me." 
He's like, but I want to send an apology anyway, which I thought was, you know, I take some guts. He seems nice. Because honestly, I, I mean, no one was still coming for Scott except for me. So he really didn't have to do that, you know. That video, dude, he should be pissed at David because he was all, like good. Everybody liked him. I liked him. Everyone, big, yeah. like, anyone who talked okay, about people like. We're, we're, we're good with Scott now, Scotty. We're Scotty, neutral. We're neutral. Okay, neutral. good. He still good. thinks David's a good person. So that's questionable, but we'll say neutral. Did he say that? Like in his videos. Okay. So, hey, it's cool. You know what? David could be a good person to some people. Exactly. People, people. It's not like good or bad. People are except David for Dobrik. Keemstar, you know. No, David Dobrik's also a shit person. But I, I, I've never met. Yeah. I'm just saying like it's a, it's just oversimplifying the entirety of a human being to say, oh, he's a good person. Oh, he's a bad person. You know what I mean? Because people are so complex. Other than Keemstar, he is an objectively like totally undebatably bad person. You don't have to comment on that. David Dobrik is also unobjectively a bad person. Well, I, my point is, is that Scotty thinks he's a good dude. I'm sure some people, I'm sure Keemstar's girlfriend thinks he's a good dude. Probably not. <laughs>